welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. I've been, I've been lacking in the video, so first of all, I apologize for this. I am working on some stuff now. I basically took 14 days out to make a video game. Uh, I will talk about this in another video I've got planned, but uh, this is more to help people who are working currently in VR, especially on the MetaQuest. Um, because I've I've found a lot of issues, and you, if you're working in VR, you'll know this. There's not a lot of documentation. There's not a lot of tutorials. There's not a lot of anything to get you started in VR uh, or finish in VR, for that matter. Uh, which is something I've done. I've literally just uploaded my game for release on the MetaQuest, and it was not easy to get it there. Um, and that's because in all honesty, Meta favors Unity over Unreal, and uh, Unreal just doesn't have enough documentation, or at least enough up-to-date documentation to get things where they need to be. So having said that, um, one of the issues I found personally was uh, this here. When you upload it to the MetaQuest, so you'll probably end up downloading the MetaQuest, um, it's called the MetaQuest Developer Hub, uh, it's just an application that goes onto your computer, which allows you to upload your builds. Now, again, there's no documentation on any of this. So you'll basically be met with this. And you'll be like, what the hell do I do? And what you need to do is actually come down to at distribution. If you have created one in the uh, development area on, on, the in, on the website, uh, it should come up here. If not, you have to create a new app. And then you download uh, or upload your builds to here. So... When you do this, you are often met with this issue here, where it says um, your manifest includes the following permissions restricted by Oculus, uh, Android dot permission dot wake and uh, underscore lock and all, all this sort of stuff. You'll get a long list depending on what you have in your game. You'll either get more or less, and it'll basically just say, "Look, if you don't need this in your game, you need to remove it. Otherwise, they will reject your submission unless you have a valid reason for using it, uh, which is not great. We don't want that to happen." Uh, you want your um, your submission to go through. So how do we get rid of this? Well, if you we go on to this. Now, this is one of the many very old um, questions put through on the Epic website, the, um, the forums. And lots of people will tell you that you need to... This is probably a better kind of visual of what it will look like. It's this kind of orange box, and this is like what the submission looks like. Uh, it comes up here, and it tells you basically you need to remove them or have a reason for keeping them. So people have used all these kind of uh, text files, and I tried all of them with the current U, uh, UE5.2 uh, engine, and none of it really works, uh, to be honest. what the, These suggestions are very old, and as a result, they just don't uh, help. So they, they probably worked for like uh, UE4, uh, the UE4 numbers, but they don't work today. So... Uh, I, I figured it out eventually uh, with the help of one of these forums. Uh, if we go down to, um, if you find Android and come down, there is a little section here called Extra Tags for Application Node. And what you need to do, so for example, I had the same four that you just saw on screen. Uh, I had to put in Android.Permission.Write External Storage with the little underscores there as well. Equals, in comma, uh, in uh, open brackets, uh, whatever it is, the, the quotation marks, false. Uh, same for all of them. And that got rid of them. Basically, Unreal, if you put in the text document that you find on a lot of forums, if you've been doing that, when you re when you go to repackage your uh, game for, for shipping or like distribution, you'll find that it basically doesn't like there being two documents. It basically says things are doubled up and it doesn't like that. So uh, the w easiest way to get rid of that is to not use the text document and put it in here instead. That's the one major issue that took me a long time to figure out. There is also the other issue. So again, you've just uploaded your build on here. So I had this issue. You'll see it says latest build 3, latest code, build code 10. Um, basically, um, you'll find that you know if you ever have to update your game to get rid of bugs or if you want to release dlc or whatever the situation may arise now i i did it where i 
uploaded my first build and uh, I was having issues because again those errors were coming up and I needed to rebuild repackage without those errors and what you found is if you upload the same file without changing anything within Unreal it although it's the updated version it doesn't recognizes the updated version it still thinks it's the same build and the same build code and it will just error out the upload it'll say you're uploading the same apk even though you're not so uh this took me again a little while to kind of get my head around it wasn't as bad but um you'll find that in uh if you go back up to your all settings you'll find here you've got your project version i had to increment that to 0.2 or 0.3 etc um so that's the project version that will show up in uh, the actual website of Unreal. You also have, uh, down back down in Android, you have a store version. Um, now mine says five, but it came up as 10. I'm not entirely sure why it did that. So the two things you need to change is the store version. So I always change these and keep these, these three the same. So when I redo this next time, I'll do six. And the version display name, which is like, you can do like 3.1, 3.2, Mine's currently set to three, which is where this is coming from. Uh, so when I update again, I'll either go to 3.1 or four or whatever. And I, the latest build code, it, it seems to just be kind of hit and miss a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but it's to do with this store version. I found this in the Unreal Engine um, forums, and this actually did help me uh, kind of understand. It was from a Unity post, but I obviously changed it for Unreal and kind of worked out that it was the store version. Um so yeah, so those are two major issues that, that really did slow me down for getting my game out and updated to um, to Oculus. Uh, there's obviously a bunch of stuff as well for setting up for the beginning of your project. Things like if you go into the uh, SDK, you need to make sure that this is correct. Um, if we open up Android Studio, I'll quickly show you what I used for mine um because again it's a little bit uh iffy uh and it's very temperamental um in getting it right uh i used i made one little mistake that was fine for the production value upload but it wasn't for the distribution it kind of it kind of didn't like it so if we go into android studio and go into the sdk manager you'll see here that i've got uh, a few show package results uh let's do that and close all these down so that we can see what I've used. So for UE 5.2, I'm not using 5.3. I'm using 5.2 uh, because I'm not a big fan of 5.3 yet. Uh, the ones I am using, sorry, I'm going to have to close these down so you can, we can get the full scope of what I'm using. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, okay. So I'm using uh, Android 32, API 32, 31, 10, uh, 10 plus, and 9, and 8, and 7. Uh, are all in there as well but the main ones i'm using is 32 and 31 and if we go into the sd uh, sdk tools i'm using android sdk built tools 34 uh, ndk uh if i oh i didn't mean to do that cancel <laughs> i don't want to start changing anything just yet <laughs> let's go back in there right uh if we click on this we should be able to no still didn't want to do that okay maybe it's not a drop down uh, maybe i'm making a mistake there uh so click on android oh it's because i haven't got show pack uh show the package details so this is what's important is this sdk build tools um as well so i'm using 33 30 and 29 there uh the ndks i'm using 25.1.8937393 that's the one i'm using for this game i have got 23 there but i don't think you use it because you, you select the one you want to use we have the android sdk command line tools we've got cmake 3.10 we've got the android sdk platform tools and we've got the google usb driver that's the main things i've got ticked on here so what does this do well basically when you come back into your android sdk you have to select the ones you want to use so you just need to have the location of your Android and SDK. So that's what I've got for mine. Uh, hopefully you can see that fine. Uh, for the NDK, 
uh, it's a similar thing. So you got SDK, NDK. So same thing, same location, but you go into the NDK file and you pick the one you want to use. So for me, as an example, I'm using 25.1.8937393, as I said. Uh, then you need to have your Java directory. Mine is in program files, Java, and then I just, I'm just i using JDK 1.8.0 underscore 77. So once you've got that set up, that's basically all the main di uh, directories you need uh, to get yourself going in uh, inside of the um, VR kind of setup. And you need to also have the SDK API level set to latest. So this is where I had one of my issues because in the Android, I had 33 selected and I didn't have 33. You, you can't use 33 in, in UE 5.2, I believe. So I had to change it to 32 and that's when I was fine. So if you click the latest and then untick 33, make sure you have 32 ticked and then you put your NDK API level at Android-29. That's what I found worked for me. And then if you go back into Android, just make sure for the minimum SDK, you've got 29. And for the target SDK version, you have 32 selected. And in theory, you should have no issues. Um, that's, as I say, that's just what worked for me. Um, the other thing as well uh, that I found to have an error come up is that when I finally packaged it for distribution, the orientation came up as an error. Now, it's theoretically set up as sensor landscape. Um, so I had to change mine to landscape, just straight landscape for it to get it to work. It didn't like it uh, on any other setting other than just normal landscape. So that's another thing as well you might want to uh, just be aware of. So other than that, I don't think there was many other issues. The other thing you might have to do is go into, um, you can Google this. I Googled this in five minutes and it worked fine, but you need to go into where your um, Unreal Engine file location is and uh you need to set up the android for it so um it would be in our c drive and if i remember correctly it's in program files uh epic games uh and then you you would just select 5.2 you go into engine um we're looking for build android uh i can't remember exactly where it is if you google it you'll find it absolutely fine um let's find it now actually while i'm here so we don't want to go into engine we're going to go into extras uh android and then you would just run this bat file that's how you would set up the 5.2 for android if you don't do this it won't work and that's for mobile as well i believe as well as vr so run that as well uh, and that should be fine but set up your android studio first so set up the sdks and the ndks that you want to use before you actually go ahead and run that android bat um but hopefully this has been somewhat helpful for you i i know it, it this information that i've shown you today has really helped me i'll be talking about this vr game in a future video and we've also got a load more of the fps to come i've just been very busy with this quick project i've been sort of working through but um, yeah, hopefully I've helped someone in some of their struggles with getting their VR working. Um, and yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.